Hello and good evening. Welcome to the Pot TV. I'm your host NJW and I'm back with another Round the World episode. Today we're in California. Let's see what's going on in California with the crime spree they got going on out there. ABC 30 Action News Live at 11 starts now. Three arrests tonight in connection to four deaths in a quiet Reedley neighborhood. Police say a 17-year-old is the one who killed all four people. The teen is the son of 34-year-old Bryn Curtis, who was also taken into custody alongside her boyfriend, 21-year-old Rafael Gonzalez, on charges of accessory after the fact. The first three bodies were found at a home on Church Avenue in Reedley on Saturday. The fourth victim was discovered this morning at the house next door. Action News anchor Nick Garcia has been covering the story since it broke on Saturday. He joins us now live from Reedley with a stunning update. Nick? So they're saying the 17 year old has went and killed the entire house and then went next door and killed somebody else. So he has thrown his life away at 17 years of age because they're going to give him the death penalty. Well, Margo Warren, this investigation has grown significantly since those first victims were discovered on Saturday. It's now crossed city lines. This morning, police served a search warrant at this house here in Reedley. Search warrants were also served at houses in nearby cities, Parlier and Selma. Did y'all see that? Turn the neck around that character. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, this is a serious matter. This is a serious matter. So let's check him out. Let's see what they, what didn't happen out there. A break in the mysterious case of the killing of four people in Reedley. Saturday morning, the bodies of 81-year-old Billy Bonds, 44-year-old Guadalupe Bonds, and a third person were found at this house on Church Avenue. Family later gave Action News access to the backyard where at least two of the bodies were found showing our cameras what appears to be a shallow grave they believe was dug for one of the victims. I'm devastated. It, this is terrible that any family has to go through this, let alone my family. Investigative leads uh, led us to, led our police department to author three search warrants, one here in the city of Reedley, one in the city of Parlier, and one in the city of Selma. This is the house searched in Selma, where a vehicle police say is connected to the case was found. This house in Parlier also has a related vehicle. Both have been impounded. On Tuesday morning, a fourth body was found in the detached garage of the neighboring house in Reedley. Police now say the killer was also right next door. A 17-year-old boy was arrested for all four homicides. Authorities say his mother, 34-year-old Bryn Curtis, and her boyfriend, 21-year-old Rafael Gonzalez, were also arrested for accessory after the fact. We have had some phenomenal detective work being done over the last 24 and 48 hours. Reedley City Manager Nicole Ziba says she understands the typically quiet neighborhood is likely on edge by the news of these crimes. It does not appear in any way that this was a random crime, a random set of crimes, and so I would want our community to understand that they are safe. It's just heart-wrenching that something like this is happening. You know, there's a lot of questions that are still left unanswered. Among those unanswered questions, why the 17-year-old would kill his neighbors. He didn't just kill his neighbors, he killed all of them. He, it must have been a real malice in his heart for them people, for him to kill them like that and throw his whole life away. It had to be something to do with, the, with his mother, guaranteed, because that's the only reason why a person would rage like that. Somebody had to do something to their mother or, you know, closest family members. But may the people rest in peace. And I hope, you know, that justice has prevailed. I don't understand, you know, they ain't said the motive or nothing yet. So I'll try to get a follow up to this case. But if not, I'm going on to the next city. <laughs> no, I'm joking. And police have not said if that man found this morning is 43 year old Matthew Bonds, Guadalupe's husband, who also lived at the house next door and has been considered missing since Saturday. We're waiting for police to identify that man found today and that third victim found on Saturday. Live in Reedley, I'm... Well, there you have it. A 17-year-old boy destroys his life, killing four people. Well, you can't say you wouldn't have done it. You couldn't say you would have done it. So let's move on to the next state. And uh, thank you guys for joining me again today. I'm your boy, NJW. This is Stir the Pot TV. On to the next state.